summer may be over, but that doesn't mean we have to stop enjoying the fruits of the sea. That's right. Here to teach us a few seafood recipes for fall is Aaron Bashi, executive chef of Manhattan's Water Club. Welcome to the show. All right. Thank so, you for having me. So when you think summer, you mm -hmm. think fish, and you sort of think meat for the fall, but you're saying seafood can be our best friend throughout the year, huh? Especially right now, out of Montauk and Cape Cod, we're getting some of the freshest local seafood from now mm. pretty much through the, the middle of November. Really? The wild striped bass. I have some beautiful yellowfin tuna that I'm serving right from the, we buy mm. primarily from the docks of Montauk at the Water Club. Okay. The docks and, of Montauk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what? What fish is hot for the fall season? I know like, swordfish is really popular during mm -hmm. the summer. Yeah, I think wild striped bass is hot for the okay. season. I think tuna. You can do a lot of things. As you go into the fall, you can do spice crusted tuna. Mm. I'm actually doing a spice crusted tuna salad today Ooh, with all local good. ingredients from the green market. That's Oysters awesome. are at their best in the fall. They're at the really? freshest. The water's starting to get cold again, mm -hmm. and uh, when I think fall, I think oysters, juicy, mm. cold oysters. But what's the key to cooking oysters and fish? Because sometimes you can over-prepare it, right? It becomes yes. dry. Mm -hmm. so Especially salmon. Oh, mm -hmm. dry salmon is the worst. Fish, you have to let the fish do the work for you. And when I, what I mean by that is if the fish is very fresh, you need a little salt and pepper, the proper amount of heat. High heat is always good with fish, whether you're cooking it well done or you're cooking it rare, okay. and a nice sear on it. Okay. And how do we know that the fish is fresh, and when do we know to throw it away? I mean, mm. people On always the say the test. smell test, <laughs> yes, but well, there's there that, there's there's that joke. Signs? Sorry. <laughs> there, there's a saying that I have when someone says, well, you know, I got sick on the oysters, mm. and I don't buy that because a, a bad oyster, you'll know it's bad before it even gets close to your nose. Mm. And I really mm. feel that fish speaks for itself. Tuna should always be bright red and vibrant. If you see the fish in the store, you want to see shine, you want to see sheen, you don't want to see dull colors. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a painting. And if you're cooking, it's when it gets flaky, is that right? The fish gets uh, flaky, White no fish, stone? yes. There are fish, okay. uh, there is a flakier fish, yes. Yeah. It, okay. it, uh, if you're doing a skinny filet of bass or something, mm -hmm. and you want it well done, um, it's still good, well done. It, it, you can flake it on top of a salad. Or well, all this food talk is making me hungry. Yes, let's what can get we to eat? cooking. Well, let me give you a run in here. We're going to start with some Montauk Pearl Oysters from uh, the beautiful waters right in front of the lighthouse. And uh, I open the oyster like this. Oh, you stick a knife in and crack Stick it a knife right in. So it's, it's very fresh. Now, again, a bad oyster would be dry and wrinkly and not very vibrant, okay, but so these, as you the can see, the, looks like on the inside. Okay, so and you can see the juice here, the liquor, mm -hmm. all in there. And the liquor. I like that. <laughs> so, what we're doing with the oysters, we all we do them on the on the half shell. But what I also mm -hmm. do is a composed dish, which I just put a little radish on top of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is called a place. radish and lemon granita. Granita. And, and it goes right over the oyster. That mm -hmm. one I missed, if you don't mind. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I have this ice that has uh, Meyer lemon juice and sea salt. Mm -hmm. On top of the radish, I'll just put this right here. And it's going to be sort of like a uh, seafood Slurpee. Now, is it true that the, this liquid will actually help make it cooked? Yes, this, this starts to cook. So it's uh, not heat, acid it's cooks. Just acid. Yes, acid cooks. Huh. A classic ceviche is fish that is cooked in an acid, mm -hmm. albeit lemon juice, orange juice, grapefruit mm -hmm. juice, okay. things like that. And wild striped bass actually goes very well with grapefruit juice. Okay. Mm. I've never had raw oysters before. It's always fried or something. So is there a certain way you're supposed to eat it? Just Try slurp it, it all Pretend or? you're doing a shot. Okay. And just slurp Go it right ahead. down. <laughs> I've put a nice dressing on here, some uh, whole coarse sea salt, also from Montauk. There you go. And the radish. So that's going to give it crunch. But can you really get the essence of the flavor if you're just taking a shot? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So is it Stop ready? Stop stalling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all so, you know. Are you ready? There you no, go. I'm not. It looks Shannon. gooey and... Chug, chug, okay, chug, chug, chug. Shoot chug, it right chug, down there. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> I have to chew it. <laughs> It's like diving okay. in the ocean, no? It's not bad. I actually like the With salt. It gives a little kick. Yeah, it gives a little, that's a little what I'm flavor. saying. Yeah. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little slimy and nasty, but it was actually really good. Well, yeah, you told me that you didn't. Oh, yeah. no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, I will. Okay, but i got to chew it. All right, so you move on to the next dish while okay, I Okay, this, this one is a little more friendly. <laughs> I need to know about that. It's an acquired taste. All right, yay! Good job. Well, you told me that you didn't have them before, so now, I wanted the, to dress are, it up. Are oysters really an aphrodisiac? Is that true? I don't know. I'd like of to say. I'll have to say yes. <laughs> we know what okay. she wants to know about. Yes. I see. Okay. 
<laughs> you know, I actually have to ask you about Mercury because mm. I'm um, I'm with child. Uh huh. And um, yeah, I've been told that I can't eat a lot of fish, unfortunately. Yes, there is. Uh, it has been proven that tuna and stuff has a very high mercury mm -hmm. count. Um, however, you know. Uh, so Shannon, you have yeah, to eat I mean, for me. Uh, what I'm is ready. It? Moderation <laughs> is key. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so moderation what's next? is key. Next is a very simple tuna salad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this yellowfin tuna. I actually, it's a blackened tuna salad. Mm -hmm. So I, I blackened this ahead of time. Looks so And good. what I'm going to do is just add these little things that are in season right now at the okay. green market to this salad. So let me just do this quick for you. Okay, go for A it. little bit of radish. We like mm -hmm. radish apparently, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, why is radish so popular in fish dishes or seafood dishes? I think dishes? it's a new kale. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's also uh, like you said with the oyster. It's an invisible crunch. Mm -hmm. You know, it adds it adds a, a natural. These are lemon cucumbers. They're very good. Sure. They're also called yellow cucumbers. Okay. That they're available right now. So I'm just throwing a little of that in there. I like that. Mm. Nice. Add some color. Mm -hmm. I'm a big. Uh, we use the green market a lot at the water club. So okay. anything I could find. We have some nice local Jersey melon mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. There we go. Pile it on. Yes. Uh, the radish. And then one of the best treats of fall. Here, you can have that. Thank you. Is a That's husk healthy. cherry tomato. These oh, things are love cherry tomatoes. amazing. I've never seen them yellow before, though. Mm, they're so Try this without the salad. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, before I cut the tuna, you Ooh, can help yourself like to more. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. I need a handful I'm just going to put a little smear in there of okay. olive oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice fresh yeah. pepper. Oh, oh. Okay. And now we're going to do a little bit of squeeze of lemon. Pop those. <laughs> a little squeeze of lemon. All right. All right. So we have a minute left. We have a minute left. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to chop gonna the tuna. Slice some tuna. Here we go. Okay. How does the size of the chunks matter? Oh. Thinner is better. Okay. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> so, real quick, we're just going to compose this salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. As if it were a party. A Ooh, tuna. We love parties. It's always a party right. here. A little arugula. Oh, they're right on top. Okay. And this, and then I'm going to put a little more tuna. There's a nice piece of bread under there. Mm. Mm. Grilled mushrooms, these husk tomatoes, and let's give this a try. Oh, it looks beautiful. All mm, right, Shannon, let's try this. I'm so this. jealous. First, I want to try this, just the tuna by itself. Mm. Let me just help you out with oh, a little yeah, more delicious. oil. You're just okay. rubbing it in, oh, aren't I'm you? Sorry, Lola. How good is it, Shannon? Now, <laughs> I take one for the team, Lola, you know. Since we're Somebody's watching Mercury and stuff, I also want to mention <laughs> that we are big supporters of the Dock to Dish program at the Water Club, which oh, means that we commit. That. This is fish that comes off the docks in Montauk. It does not make it to the Fulton Market. It goes, he tells us when it comes in. And it's at our door a few hours later. Oh, you mentioned the Fulton Market. Where is the best place to buy fish in New York City? The best place to buy fish in New York City, I think, is on Wednesdays at the Green Market, the Blue Moon Fish. Mm, okay. I think the, at the Chelsea Market, the Lobster Place is excellent. Okay. And, of course, Citarella's always has beautiful fish. Oh, right. Those are my three faves. All right. All right. And where can we find you? The Water Club is where? It's on East 30th Street, right mm -hmm. off of the FDR. Okay. It's the 34th Street exit, and it's the, the big building with all the flags. All right. Well, we're and coming to see you It has a beautiful view soon. of the water. Mm -hmm. Coming to Thank see you, you so soon, much. And I will cook your fish nicely for Thank you. Thank you. you. I have two kids. And I know about the, the she can have the living. cherry tomatoes. I'll take the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and again. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Mm -hmm. I'm